All right, what's up guys? It's David Fisher again, and we're gonna be taking you through a chest and back workout today. So before we head in the gym, I wanna talk about what we're gonna be doing, since it can get pretty loud in there, so I can actually talk to you face to face without any interruption. So, first thing I wanna talk about before the actual workout is warm up. So, for chest and back, those are two pretty big um, muscle groups. So whenever you're using chest or back, you're gonna be using your shoulders, you're gonna be using your arms as well. So what I like to do is I like to roll out my back, roll out my lats, roll out my chest with a lacrosse ball, loosen everything up. Um, the main reason for this is I have some shoulder impingement issues, so it really benefits me to kind of loosen all those muscles up before I start my exercise. And then after that, like I said before in my last shoulder and arm workout video, I do external rotations with a TheraBand, some internal rotations, and some rows. Like I said, to get the traps warmed up, because those are a big supporting muscle for the day. For the main strength movements that we're gonna be working on today are incline barbell and weighted chin-ups. So with the incline barbell, we're gonna be obviously warming up to a heavy weight. So we're gonna be doing sets of six today. So four sets of six there, and then after that, we're gonna head into the chin-ups. So we're gonna be supersetting these, and the key here is to not let the fatigue from one exercise carry over to the other. So as soon as you have recovered fully from one exercise, start doing the other. So the reason that that's key is because we're doing such big muscle groups, chest and back, there's gonna be some pretty large systemic fatigue that's gonna be building up as we're exercising with the heavy weight, and we don't want that to affect the performance on the next set. So that's a little bit about the format today. So we're gonna be doing first superset, incline barbell, weighted chin-ups, and then I'm going to be doing dumbbell bench and uh, bent over T-bar rows. Third superset is going to be a seated row. And we're going to be doing an incline hammer press. And then the fourth superset is going to be an incline variation on the pec deck and a dumbbell pullover. And then I'm going to hit a little abs. So that's the formats for today. Let's get in there and start the workout. Look at that guy in there. Dang, he's buffed. So just so you know who these people are, they're not some randos that are working out with me. This is Clayton, right here. This is Daniel, right there. And some odd, right here. Where are we? Where, there you go. Come on, Dan. All right. Come on, Dan. Go for three. Goodness gracious. Red as a cherry. 21 pilots. Yeah. Damn, what are you doing? A lot of people see a lot of people doing chin-ups and not locking their shoulders back into place. When they come to the top of the rep, they're letting their shoulders come out like this. So for the entire rep, you know, keep your shoulders locked back and right here, not coming up and letting the shoulders come up. Keep the shoulders down and back. Instead of what would you do for a Klondike bar, what would you do for protein? So anytime you're doing dumbbells, if you find yourself having any shoulder pain, right here or anywhere in the front of the shoulder. Try rotating the dumbbells. Instead of having them like this with a pronated grip, try turning your wrists a little so they're about 45 degrees with your body instead of per perpendicular like this. Any words of wisdom, sir? Don't go to failure. You gotta save yourself for 
<laughs> the later sets if you can do. If you're doing four sets of eight and you go to failure, you go past eight on the first set, you're gonna be able to not even do close to eight on the next one. So save a few in the tank for later sets. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Tangle. thing on these is this isn't going to be four sets of six, this is going to be four sets of 12 to 15. Whenever you're doing single joint or isolation exercises, you want to make sure you're going up in the reps and down in the weight. If you're doing sets of flies for five reps, one, you can probably hurt yourself really easily, and two, it's not that efficient. So bump up the reps, push down the weight. So the other the machine here is instead of grabbing down here on the handles, I'm actually grabbing up here, and that kind of mimics what you'd be doing on an incline dumbbell slide. But since none of those are open, we're going to be using a machine. dumbbell pullovers and just like I mentioned with some of the rowing movements we're gonna be grabbing the dumbbell like this but try and put no god please no no this is try, and <laughs> try and put as much weight on the outside of your hand as you can yes it's a collab Hashtag the, the chow oh, wait, I don't have a YouTube channel. What's your name? The chow The chow The chow <laughs> Sounds like something completely <laughs> great. I just filleted the top layer of skin off. Get in there. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. Hello. So what's up? It waits so long. 